This is Matt with Direct Impact Solutions, which is a new name that you might have known our company as AppWorks because that's what it was until very recently. This is our first video under the new company name since we've joined a Direct Impact. And what we're going to be talking about today is conditional formatting. So this is a feature that FileMaker has had for a good long time, but I want to talk about some good use cases for it and some simple ways to do it. Let's dive in. So let's take a look at this invoice and say that if there's a date field that's missing, so if this is just empty, this doesn't really give us a clue that, um, that the data that's very, very important is missing. We get some conditional formatting up here, which we'll look at in a little bit, but which is actually wrong. So this tells me that, so the calculation is clearly broken because it tells me it's 73, 737,000 days overdue. So if this is empty, what I would really want this to do is show up uh, what I call safety yellow. Now notice that there's a script trigger on this, which we can see the, the little S icon with the star, but there's a different icon that will show up in a minute when we put conditional formatting on it. And that's this little diamond icon, the blue and red diamond. So if we right click on this and say conditional formatting, this allows us to have a condition, and some of the conditions can be very simple. So for example, we can just say empty. We don't actually have to write any code. We can just say if it's empty, then fill it with this color. Um, and you can pick like one of these safety yellow colors, uh, something that's very, very bright and strong. Um, uh, so any these three here kind of in the middle, I think, are really, really good colors to, to as saying, hey, this is a very important thing. Look at this. It looks like a like a highlight. Now we can see our icon shows up that's got conditional formatting. So if I go back to my layout and I see that it's empty, it shows it, it really strongly draws attention to it. And then until I put a date in. So let's say I put a date 115. OK, or maybe even 110 because I want to show one other feature here. So this invoice, the terms are net 30, and so I'm recording this on February 1st, and this says the date due is February 9th, so this is not due yet, so that's okay. If I change the terms to net 15, now this is overdue, but it doesn't really give me much uh, indication here about it. It does show that up here that it's overdue, but that's not kind of where the eye is looking necessarily if you're looking at the invoice here, so it might be a good idea to actually have more. So let's actually format that down here in the due date um, so that we can see that uh, conditional format. So I'll, I'll go here and I'll put in conditional formatting. And in this case, um, so I could use, uh, this is going to do a little bit more of a calculation. So I'll say formula. And it comes up with a default formula in here. And then in the, um, so I'll go ahead and click specify. And this is where the magic happens, right? So this is the standard FileMaker calculation dialog that opens up a world of power unto you, the user. And so what we want to say here is if the due date calculation field, which is a field called just plain due date. So if due date is less than get current date, then um, we're going to bold it and color the text red. And not too bright of a red, but more like a towards brick red a little bit. I find it to be easier to read. Um, and I think I, yeah, that doesn't actually seem to work. So it didn't, it didn't format correctly. Let's try changing this. So yeah, so this is, there's something wrong with my formatting. Um, you know, it might be because the due date, we have to take a look at this calculation. It is a date calculation. So one of the things you definitely have to test is that whether the calculation is set the way that it is. And this is actually an auto enter calculation that replaces the existing value, um, which means I could actually go in here and maybe delete this. It's not editable, but uh, if it were editable on this layout, it would just be a calculation I could change. So let's take a look at this again and see where I went wrong with my function. Like all things in FileMaker, these are definitely um, like a trial and error kind of a thing. So you have to, you know, kind of do some tests. Um, and that's one of the other reasons that I actually recommend writing calculations, not necessarily really simple ones like this one, but writing calculations in the data viewer because then you can actually really look at things. And so what you do here is in the lower left corner, 
uh, in the watch tab on the lower right corner, you would click this plus and you'd put your calculation in and it would actually calculate it and tell you the result of it right here. So if I wanted to find out what the due date is, it says it's 125. If I want to find out what the get current date is, um, that's not the right function. That is the right function. So if, if due date, um, if due date is less than get current date, so that actually is a true statement. So I'm not really sure why my calculation is not working. Let's take another look. Oh, you know what? There might actually be fields stacked. Ah, I just got down to the bottom of it. So in this situation, this is a, a FileMaker demo file that I'm working with here. And definitely one of the other things that I wanted to share with you is how to troubleshoot things when you get databases from other sources. There are two stacked fields. So there's one of them that, that's white, which would indicate you could actually click into it and edit it, and one of them that is not. And only the one that is not is visible. So I probably will go in here and add my formula, put in my same conditions, text color red. Um, I also want to take a look at one other brief thing on this. Uh, very much related to conditional formatting is something called conditional visibility. And over on the data tab, when you look at an object, it'll actually show you whether or not it's visible. So this says, if is empty invoice terms or the window number, blah, blah, blah. So it's basically saying it's not even going to show the due date if there are no terms set. Let's just delete that for now. And then this whole field here, I don't think we even really need. And then maybe we can format the due date as a sort of a standard kind of a field, like 12 point regular entry. Um, okay, so now we've got our formatting on it and it, it's a little strong still. Um, our conditional formatting didn't stick. So I'll go back to formula, paste in my formula, bold and red, third time's a charm. And now if I go to browse mode, um, I see that it now works. If I change my terms to net 30, now it's not the date. But I have one other problem, which is if the terms are empty, um, I may not want this field in there at all. Um, so you, you have to kind of decide what you're going to want to do for that. In this case, it actually did not delete the due date. Um, if I delete this, that might actually do it, maybe. No, that just... Uh, so the due date is actually still there. It sort of sticks because it's a calculation. And in a sample, that's actually a, probably a normal uh, state of affairs. I'll put my date back in. I'll set my terms again. And let's take a look at attention of how to not only just set conditional formatting, but let's take a look at how to look at existing conditional formatting and tweak it. And so up here in the top right, we have this calculation called info. And that's a field in this sample database called info, which um, grabs the status of the invoice and then has a case statement to look to see if the invoice is paid and if it's paid within range. And then says uh, the date payment or unpaid info. So we have more information there. But it also has conditional formatting on it. And the conditional formatting says if the status of the order is zero, which means past due, then color the text red. And they're using uh, like a custom color in this case, not one from the standard palette. And if the status of the order is one, which means unpaid, um, but not yet past due, then the color is yellow. So basically sort of green, yellow, red kind of a thing. Um, while I'm at this color thing, I, I'd like to show you something that's pretty cool. So notice down here we have our colors. Um, colors are extremely important when it comes to conditional formatting. And I like that they've actually done some custom stuff here. But um, I don't see that they're necessarily using one of the colors from this custom palette. So the standard one at the bottom is the normal palette, and the one at the top is your custom palette, which when you start a new solution, these might all be blank. Uh, some years ago, FileMaker put in this great feature that if you drag a custom color, so like if you have some custom color like other color and you, you choose some color palette from whatever way you want to choose it by hue, uh, hue saturation value or whatever kind of a method you do it, I'm going to cancel that because I want to go back to the color that I had um, for that yellow one. 
So what I want to show you is this. If you want to save this color and sort of as a color family, you can just drag it out to one of these blanks and then it brings in that color plus a darker and a lighter version of that color. So that's slightly different than the ones here. Very, very similar, but a little bit different than the ones that they have. And then I can do the same thing for this red one and bring that out over here. And then now I have these color hues uh, that I can choose for, for buttons and for different things to kind of color my objects uh, certain ways. So uh, that's a pretty useful thing. So maybe we can keep with that red. And then uh, the other one is the, the yellow color. Okay, so let's say that I wanted to mess with this a little bit further and add another feature to this um, to, to color this box a different way. So, for example, if I really wanted to draw attention to the fact that the invoice date is empty, I'll add another function here that says is empty. Now, by the way, in this case, because I'm referring to a field that's not the field I'm applying formatting on, then I actually do have to write a calculation. It's still a very simple one. If is empty date, because that's the main field. And then if is empty date, then I want to fill the field with yellow and have the text color be that same kind of red highlight color. This one. Um, and then the other important point that I wanted to um, share with you about conditional formatting is these will all apply and they're all going to apply kind of in order from top to bottom. And so if more than one condition is true, then the multiple true conditions will all apply at the same time. So you could have one condition that says bold and another condition that says red and another condition that says italic. And if all three conditions are true, then it will be bold, red, and italic. I love that feature, and FileMaker makes it very, very easy to do. Okay, so now with this new setting in there, if I delete my invoice date, not only do I get safety yellow right here, but I get an, a clear message here that actually says the wrong thing. It says unpaid overdue. And that's because I haven't also updated my info calculation. So in my info calculation, I'll update this to say case, uh, we've got interesting formatting here, is empty date. Then I'll put some just text in here. I will say uh, invoice date missing. And so that'll be my first test function in the calculation. Oh, and it actually is looking at multiple things. So it says unpaid overdue invoice date missing, which I really kind of don't want in there. Um, oh, that's because the status shows up. Uh, so the status of the invoice is unpaid um, and overdue. And then I put in, um, so in this case, maybe what I'll do is I'll put like, a space and a dash, uh, and then I can get all that information showing up nice and clear. All right, well, that's what I wanted to show for today. So conditional formatting ties in nicely to a lot of fun things in FileMaker. It heavily uses the calculation dialog box, and I hope you have a lot of fun using this in your solution. Thanks for your time.